this is a gear review and it demonstrates a new capability for seeking preparedness and it can be a very enjoyable hobby and that is ham radios. Now what I'm going to demonstrate to you is a Bofang BF-F8HP which is a handheld ham radio but you'll see it this also includes GMRS radio which stands for General Mobile Radio Service and FSR which is Family Radio Service sometimes known as a walkie-talkie. So what came in the box is contained in one of these ammo cans and then I have a mirrored image in a second one because in all likelihood especially uh, for preparedness you're going to want at least two radios so let's open one of these up and see what we have we have the user manual The charger, which is a regular wall socket. We have an earpiece that comes with the original unit and works fine. We have the radio itself, and we have what's called a rubber ducky antenna. And you screw the rubber ducky antenna on, and you never want to turn on a radio ham radio unless you have an antenna on it and the way it works because this has been pre-programmed so you simply turn it on Panel mode. and then i have a sheet here which was utilized to program 71 different channels and all you have to do is click like zero, zero four, four zero, zero. Period Friday through Wednesday carries a thunderstorm activity are forecast in the region between Friday morning and Sunday evening. So that was a NOAA station, which stands for uh, National Oceanographic Atmospheric Administration. But the original programming included 71 channels, and within that 71 channels, where all you have to do is press zero and then the channel number is 14 walkie-talkie channels the frs family radio service um, radio channels and those uh, that equipment of the ham radio will talk to uh, a walkie-talkie that uh, costs ten dollars that you buy like for your children or grandchildren at christmas time that you get from Costco or uh, from Walmart. It also includes six GMRS channels, which stands for General Mobile Radio Service. Now, the GR or GMRS radio is viewed as having more functionality than just the uh, family radio. And you do have to have a license for it, where the family radio service, you don't need a license. Anybody can use your little walkie-talkies. With the GMRS, you do have to have a license, but as I understand it, it's $35 for 10 years, and anybody in the immediate family can use it. Also included in this is uh, numerous what's called a ham repeater. And what that's involved with is in uh, the county I live in, on a high hill, the local ham club has set up a more powerful ham radio with a battery backup, with uh, hopefully solar power to keep it charged. And uh, when uh, I talk on a ham frequency, it talks to the repeater and then it's repromigated. So I can talk to um, pretty much any ham operator within a 25-mile radius. 
versus the walkie-talkie in the mountainous area that I live in will only have about a two-mile range. Now, also included in the 71 channels is uh, numerous um, repeaters for surrounding counties, uh, what they call two-meter simplex, uh, emergency service type channels. So it's very powerful. So with two of these, uh, I could talk to a family member. Um, I also can uh, obtain uh, emergency data information, weather information. I can reach out to surrounding repeaters to, uh, to speak to other uh, ham radio operators outside my um, county. So it can be a very powerful tool. And uh, the Bofang uh, BF-F8 HP currently sells on Amazon for about $66. And now don't confuse it with, there's a less uh, powerful, less function uh, model that's also out. But this is a really good model. Now, I have and made some uh, upgrades. So one is uh, in the ham community, the rubber ducky is not well thought of, although it's worked fine for me. So I did pay $17 to get two upgraded antennas, and it does work better with the increased antenna. I paid for a second enhancement in that the original radio is just this long. And I paid $20 for an extra battery, which also ex they extended it, which... Um, I actually just fits better in my hand, and so I, I like it. But you can certainly still use the original battery and the concept that I had, although these are excellent batteries and we lost uh, uh, work for quite a bit, is if this battery runs low, I'll just pull it off and insert the second battery and then recharge the battery I was originally used. And then the third enhancement I made was I paid, once again, $17 for an upgraded earpiece. So, and what this allows you to do, it doesn't broadcast out into the forest. It's just you can hear it in, the, uh, in your ear, so it's uh, more stealthy. Um, how did I uh, manage to get it where it would work with the uh, 71 channels? Well, there's some software called Chirp. And uh, I envision it that it's like a spreadsheet and what's included in that sp spreadsheet-like uh, display is the item number, the description of the channel, the channel name, whether or not it has what they call a tone, another column for the frequency, another column for what they call duplex, and then finally a last column for skip. Now, one can obtain that software and learn it and download it, but uh, a big task is just finding out what all the frequencies are. So here's what I did. I knew a fellow that uh, locally who does this uh, kind of as a side job, and he sells you the original Bofang radio at cost, and then he charges you $10.00 to set it up with all the different frequencies. What a deal. So this is how I would recommend getting into the ham radio. I would uh, simply on your Google search engine type ham radio club near me and bam, you'll get the results. Now, I did that last night. The first two results were companies trying to sell me things. But the third one was the actual club, which surprisingly, because I live in a very rural area, they meet uh, just 30 minute drive away. And uh, the beauty of that is they uh, have an actual in-person meeting once a month. And then a little bit unique to this club, they also have a breakfast group that gets together weekly. And uh, the third thing they do is once a week, they meet via the radio the ham radio, and they, uh, they talk to one another, which I've done that. I have a ham license. 
and the, obtaining a ham license is not the task you would think it is. It's, it does involve a little investment. Um, I would estimate about 10 hours of study time. I bought a review book. I studied that um, for about 10 hours. I didn't do that at one session over five to 10 days, just one or two hours a day. Also, there's practice tests online, which you can uh, check your knowledge with. And um, at least uh, 15 years ago, I went down to a local ham radio club, and once a month they did testing. And uh, I was probably in and out of there in an hour. And when you leave, they've uh, checked your uh, test, and they let you know that you passed. And uh, then a few weeks later, you uh, get a um, the license from the federal government. And every 10 years, uh, if you want to renew it, you just get online. There's not a renewal test, and you just get online, look your call sign up, and, and uh, submit that you want it renewed. So a lot of capability. You have all the capability of a walkie-talkie, plus uh, the repeaters, plus uh, being able to check the... Uh, listen in to the emergency uh, channels. Now, you wouldn't dare transmit on those channels. I'm sure that would get you in some serious legal problems. But uh, if you have the license, you can transmit on the ham frequencies, certainly on the walkie-talkie frequencies. If you want to use the GMRS, you pay the $35, and anybody in your family can utilize those. Plus, it's my understanding that during an emergency with ham radios, anybody can transmit. But the uh, the biggest part of the capability, I think, is being able to reach out and and uh, listen to the other ham radios within your county and perhaps uh, within the uh, surrounding counties. Now, if you want to use it as a serious hobby, you can get a uh, mobile station, which I have, which I understand uh, properly. Is, it's somewhat random, but you can talk to people conceivably 500 miles away. And if you really knew what you were doing, you can talk to people throughout the world. Now, some of the people at the ham radio clubs, they're just technical wizards. And they even have sort of a sport where they uh, will contact someone worldwide and fill out an index card and they collect those index cards. So uh, it's quite common that they can talk to people in North America, South America, Europe, and on occasion people even in the Far East. So a lot more capability at a very economical price. Uh, and a lot of people just see it as not only a preparedness uh, capability, but a hobby which they enjoy, which I have to admit I enjoy it. If you found this video informative, please click like and subscribe. It helps the channel and it helps the community. Be prepared.